What's going on guys, it's Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com and in this video I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Now if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos, so please consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't done so already, head over to comicbookinvest.com, they have a lot of great comic speculation and investing articles, hosting some free giveaways over there right now, so make sure you check them out as well. It's kind of a light week for comics. As you can see, I didn't really have a great pick of the week. I kind of just picked. Well, I'll let you see in the video coming up. You can tell Marvel's getting ready for convention season because there's a lot of blank variants this week. But either way, let's head over to the computer and I'll show you what I got. We kick this week off with Batman Who Laughs, The Grim Knight number one. Ripped from Batman's greatest nightmares, The Grim Knight is his world's most dangerous vigilante unafraid to use any weapon and go to any lengths to stop those who he deems worthy of death. We have a regular cover by Jock. There's a regular price variant by Gabriel Del Otto and a regular price blank variant. I love the Del Otto cover on this, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Catwoman number nine. When crooks break into the pawn shop where Catwoman has set up her secret headquarters, they make off with a personal item that she has to get back. The trail of loot leads her to the broker the man who moves all illicit merchandise in Villa Hermosa. This has a regular cover by Joel Jones. There's also a regular price variant by Art Germ. I like the Art Germ, but what I really like about this issue is there's a guest writer, and it's Ram V. That's right, the writer who's been writing the hit comic, These Savage Shores, so I can't wait to pick this up. Flash number 66. This has the original trickster, James Jesse, taking over as crime lord of Central City. There's going to be a regular cover by Rafael Sandoval, and a regular priced variant by Tim Sale. Justice League Dark number 9. Justice League Dark's going to face certain destruction as Dr. Fate has assembled his Lords of Order. There's going to be a regular cover by Alvaro Martinez. There's also a regular priced variant by Kelly Jones. Supergirl number 28. The Citadel sends an army of Supergirls to Omega Man's secret base. And it's up to Supergirl and the Omega Man to take them on. There's a regular Yannick Paquette cover. There's also a regular priced variant by Art Germ. Superman number nine. John Kent comes face to face with a terrifying evil version of his own father. There's gonna have a regular cover by Ivan Rice. There's also a regular priced variant by Rob Liefeld. Wonder Woman number 66. Wonder Woman's mother's missing and so is Aphrodite's son. So together they're gonna turn the world upside down to find them. There's a regular cover by Terry Dotson. There's also a regular priced variant cover as well. Transformers number one, a new era dawns and a new origin is formed in this brand new Transformers series. It's got five different covers for it. There's a regular Gabriel Rodriguez cover, regular price Angel Hernandez variant, a one in 10 incentive Casey Kohler variant, a one in 25 Freddie Williams the second variant, and a one in 50 Freddie Williams special treatment variant. Assassination number one, the world's former greatest hitman hires 20 of the best assassins in the world to be his bodyguards. But this is written in the same laugh and tell you cry spirit of Hot Fuzz, Tropic Thunder, Deadpool. So it looks like a great take on the hitman genre with a nice little comedic twist. Look forward to picking this up. Little Bird number one, this is the first in a mini series. Little Bird follows a young resistance fighter who battles against an oppressive American empire and searches for her own identity in a world on fire. Age of Conan, b -Lit, Queen of the Black Coast number one. The name alone conjures fear up and down the coast of the Hiberian Age, and the sight of her ship, the Tigris, is an omen of despair for any town in the Pirate Queen's Bath. This is an all-new story that reveals how she became the undisputed Queen of the Black Coast. There's five different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Sonata Takeda, there's a regular price blank variant. There's an incentive Afu Chan variant, and a 1 in 25 incentive Olivier Vatine variant, and a 1 in 50 incentive Sarah Pacelli variant. And if you're looking for Belit's first appearance, she appeared in Giant Size Conan number one in a dream, but her first full appearance is in Conan number 58. 
Age of X-Men Apocalypse and the X-Tracks number one. X-Men has created a utopia for mutants, a utopia where no one knows love. Thankfully, a hero rises up to lead the rebellion against this way of life and teach the ways of family and romance. There's four different covers for this. This is a regular Gerardo Sandoval cover, regular price Enhiak Lee variant, regular price Carlos Pacheco variant, and an incentive 1 in 50 David Nakayama variant. Amazing Spider-Man number 17. Sergei Kravinov and his minions have been kidnapping animal-themed characters for months, but they need one more to complete the collection, and that's the spider. But what does Craven even want with all of them? We find out in this story arc of The Hunted. There's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Umberto Ramos cover, regular price connecting variant by Lionel Francis Yu, regular price blank variant, and an incentive 1 in 25 Corey Smith variant. Avengers No Road Home number 5. As the Scarlet Witch works to escape Nix's Prison of Darkness, the Hulk takes on Hypnos, Lord of Sleep, and the Realm of Nightmare. There's a regular Yasmin Putri cover. There's also a regular price connecting variant by Phil Noto. Magnificent Miss Marvel number 1. Aliens are wreaking havoc in Kamala's corner of the world, and they seem weirdly interested in Miss Marvel and her family. This is going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular Edro Petrovich cover, regular priced blank variant, a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Babs Tarr, and a 1 in 50 incentive variant by Elsa Charatier. Marvel Tales Thor number one, celebrating the 80th anniversary of Marvel. This is going to feature reprints of Journey to Mystery number 85, Journey to Mystery Annual number one, Avengers number 83, and Thor number 337. It's going to have a regular cover by Jim Bartel. There's also an incentive virgin variant by Jim Bartel as well. Winter Soldier number four, a face from the past, returns at a pivotal time in RJ's D programming. But is his return too good to be true, or is Bucky just being paranoid? What lengths is he willing to go to keep RJ safe? Wolverine Long Night number 3. This continues the adaption of the Marvel podcast. The search for a serial killer in small town Alaska intensifies, and everything is pointing back to a certain Claude Loner. X-23 number 10. The mystery behind X-Assassins finally were revealed, and what will Laura and Gabby do when they come face to face with an army of genetically altered assassins? We have a regular cover by Ashley Witter. There's also a regular price Spider-Man Villains variant by Enhyak Lee. I love both covers. I think these Ashley Witter covers are actually really underrated. It's been a great story. If I can pick both up, I'm definitely going to. Goo number one. This comes from Albatross Exploding Phony Books. It's celebrating the 20th anniversary of Goon. Also, Goon and Frankie return from Strange Adventures Abroad to find a horde of unsavory characters that have filled the void left in his absence from Lonely Street. We have a regular cover by Eric Powell. There's also an incentive cardboard stock variant by Kevin Nolan. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. Left some titles out of the video. I'm sure you guys will all put them in the comments below. Either way, comment what you are reading because that's how I find other titles to read myself. If you've enjoyed watching this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. That way you'll never miss a future video from my channel. This is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.